Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. Well, this is my 2015 John Deere 1025R tractor. When I purchased this tractor, it had roughly 290 hours on it, and I would say most of its life it spent mowing. So, just taking a look at the mower deck, I would say it's had no service or very, very little servicing done to it. So we're going to be doing a full service on the mower deck, which is going to involve checking the belt, greasing everything. We're going to change the fluid in the gearbox. No doubt that's never been done before. As you can see, the finish on this is very dull. So what we're actually going to do is touch up any little areas that have a little bit of rust on it. And we're going to actually buff this, just like buffing a car. I want this thing to look brand new when we're done. And just taking a look underneath of the deck, it has three blades. They are as dull as anything. So we're going to check the condition of these and I may end up just sharpening them and replacing them with uh, brand new blades next year. It's coated in thick grass. There's probably an inch or so of grass underneath here. You can see some rust. We're going to take care of all that. We're going to check all the spindles to make sure there's no play in any of the bearings. So there's three. want to point out one of my uh, last videos I actually did a video on installing and testing out these clamped on uh, power forks as you can see how handy they come so they're just long enough to go just beyond the mower deck so there's no weight on the base of your mower deck where your blades are at it actually is right there and right in there so it's nice and handy so what we're going to do is take the pressure washer underneath of this as well as the top and we're going to get all this off So now that we have most of the uh, stuff off the deck, what we're going to do is sharpen the blade so it has three. I'm going to be replacing these next year. So what I'm going to do is give these a quick sharpen. You can either pop these off and sharpen them on your uh, bench grinder, or I actually have a little mini grinder. I'm going to use that to put a sharp edge on this. see the difference it's nice and sharp there so again I'm gonna be replacing these next year so I just want to get one more year out of these again this is probably the first time they've ever been sharp and I know people will say that these are balanced and whatnot I'm very taking a very limited amount of metal off these just sharpening the uh, cutting hedge so I'm gonna do all three blades all right so we got all three blades sharpen add a little bit extra paint so I painted the uh, blades and touched up a few little spots underneath with some uh, John Deere paint. So 
So again, you can see how handy these clamped on pallet forks are. So what we're going to do next is grease the spindle. So there's a grease point here, here. You're going to have one on your PTO and also one on the PTO extension that's going to your tractor. And the last one right in the center, right in front of your gearbox. I also like to check all my spindles and pulleys just to make sure there's no play on it. And when I was washing it, I actually took these covers off. That way I was able to get any grass on underneath of these. Uh, but all of them seem really good. And you'll also want to check over the condition of your belt to look for any cracks or whatnot in it. And this seems in decent shape. I would say it's original. So I should get at least this year, maybe even another year or two out of it. And I'll probably pick up one and just have it on standby if I require it. So next what I want to do is change the gear oil in the gearbox. What you want to do is take out this plug using a number eight so what I'm going to be using is an oil extractor to get out the fluid in the gearbox if not some people tilt the mower deck over to drain it but I'll be using this to suck it out. All right, so I actually tipped this a little bit forward and a little bit back and sucked out as much as we're going to get out of there. So what I'm going to be using is an ADW 90 weight gear oil. This is a GL5 rating. It actually doesn't take very much. And this is going to be something I'm actually going to change this every year for the very little amount it takes. So what you're going to do is put the tip of the gear oil into here and it's fill to spill. So as soon as you start seeing it coming out, you know that this is full. And again, it doesn't take very much. And you can see it coming out there. So we'll just let it drain a tiny little bit and then we'll put the uh, nut back in. And you can see in there that it's right at the uh, level of the threads. So you want to clean off your drain bolt before you put it back in. And if you have a little bit of Teflon tape, you can put that on also. All right, so we have everything greased. We've checked all the pulleys and spindles. We've checked the belt. We've sharpened the blades. We've checked underneath the mower deck and cleaned it. So before I call this job done, I'm gonna put a nice coat of wax on the whole mower deck there. Certainly protect it and we'll put some uh, protectant on the shield here also. And last night I spent some time buffing everything up so it looks nice and new again. Probably the very few that actually uh, waxes their mower deck, but it certainly protects it. I also had some SC1 treatment that I put on the plastic here too. I use that on my side-by-side. -side. 
Anyways, this was just a video on how to do a full maintenance on your mower deck for my John Deere 1025R. Again, this is something that I'll do every year. It literally takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes at the very most. And the next thing we'll be doing is actually uh, putting this mower deck to use. So we'll get it installed on the John Deere 1025R. Like always, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, make sure you post them below. I certainly appreciate all of them and I read all the messages. And make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. Take care.